Gwee, thanks for joining us on I Follow Ipswich. Overall, what have you made to the club's start to the season? Yeah, it's been a good start for us and um, we've uh, we started well and put the work in all the summer and obviously through lockdown it's been a tough pre-season but I think we've started well and and we've the work we have done through pre-season has benefited us so far. And on a personal note, how about you sort of with your performances? Because you've been involved in a number of games but probably like more starts. Yeah, no, I'd obviously I'd like to st- more starts but... Um, yeah, no, I didn't start the first game, but I've come on and scored. And then the games I've played in, I've, I feel personally I've done well and helped the team when I've come on or when I have started. So if I can carry this on, then it'll be, it'll be good for me and obviously good for the team. How important is it to, to make an impact when you come on as a, as a substitute? We saw it with you against Wigan. We saw it with Jack against Bristol Rovers at the weekend. Yeah, yeah now the gaffer says you've got to be ready. And I, all my career, if I've been on the bench or starting, I've you've got to be ready, switched on and... Mm ready to go when you're called upon and as the gaffer has been saying you've when you get that chance you've got to take it and I feel I did and it's down to me now to carry on doing well and keep my place in the team. Yeah obviously last season playing in a slightly more defensive role so what's it been like playing further up the pitch this time around? No it's good it's nice to be back up there and yeah. play my natural position so yeah if, if I can carry on doing what I'm doing in a minute and I think there's still more for me to do and improve again. So if I can carry on that, then it's, it's going to benefit the team and I'm going to be enjoying it a lot more and, mm. and we're going to add goals to the, to the team and hopefully more assists as well. So it's, it's going to be good for me and good for the team. Yeah. There's excellent competition for places up there, isn't there? Well, there, there is everywhere, but you know, with you and Freddie and Judgy and Jack, etc. Yeah, no, we've got competition right around the squad, so mm. it's good and maybe... The, who knows, there might be one or two more coming in, you, 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 don't, you don't know. But now there's, like I said, when you get that chance, you've got to take it and it's, it's just not every position is safe now. So you've got to be performing 100% each game, each day in training, otherwise you're going to lose your place. Mm-hmm. So everyone wants to play, but if I can keep my place in the side, then I'll, I'll be happy. Good first impressions of Mark McGuinness. What's his arrival been like? Yeah, no, he's, he seems like a good lad. He's yeah. obviously been here... You know, one day now, two days, so now nah, he's fitted in well, he trained well yesterday and now nah, he looks good, he looked good in the game we played against him and obviously that's why he's come in, so that's another good addition to the squad and he'll be fighting for places as well. Rochdale this weekend, we said to Paul earlier, they've proved a little bit of a tricky customer for other teams this season. Yeah, no, nah, I think I think they do try and play a little bit, so it'll be tricky, but now nah, we're, we're confident and we're home as well, so we're going to keep on doing what we've been doing and try and improve in our game again and, and hopefully get the three points. Just on playing at home, do you feel more comfortable still playing at Portman Road despite there being no fans? Because that home advantage can sort of go away a little bit, can't it? Yeah, it's, it can do, but it's, you know, it's such a big stadium. It's, it's, it's lovely to get down there and play and mm. we're all looking forward to starting back and we are disappointed that fans aren't there, but now we've got to try and use it as our advantage still because teams will be coming and thinking... Like it's an amazing stadium and yeah. it's going to be tough for them anyway. Um, it would be better for us if the foul fans were there, but they're not, so I'm sure they'd be all supporting the home. So if they can get behind us from home and we can try and do the business on the pitch.